here comes the London Red Raider football team against Washington Courthouse. We're down here in a makeshift, uh, what do you want to call this? Tent. Um, Ameri tent. Ameritech tent. <laughs> SBC Ameritech. SBC now. Here comes them Red Raiders. And here comes your run London Red Raiders coming right at you. Let them know we'll go get the band. They'll be facing that I way. Know I know what you're well, this is the first first place battle for the SCOL. Washington Courthouse got their win last week. London's got their win. So right now there's a three-way tie for first. And one win and zero losses. London, London, Washington Courthouse, and Miami Trace. So. London come out with a 50 to nothing win on, on their end of the bargain. I don't know how Courthouse did last week. Uh, Courthouse beat McLean 21-19. It was their first win of the season. They're only one in five so far. So they've been having kind of a tough, tough way to go of it, uh, but they've played some tough teams. They played Portsmouth. They played Portsmouth West. Um, played Circleville, who's five and one. So I mean, you know, they've played quite a few different teams. I've heard of getting close to the action, but Orson Courthouse right now is a little bit, uh, a little different. They got. Uh, no stands. They tore down their old stands, so they got makeshift stands. We have a tent set up in the stands, so we're right down in amongst the people. Hopefully, we don't get any any uh, profanity. profanity. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say bad words, but from the fans. That's the same thing. You don't notice that light being that bright. We're real close to the team, too. Who's that? Oh, it's turned that way. Well, we're going to see out of courthouses. They're on offense, multiple sets. They'll run. He kicks off, goes down to about the 20-yard line. They got a little wall there, and he comes up through the wall and crashes over top of number four. Monte is number two, isn't he? Four is Justin Gossard, and looks like <laughs> also in there, Andenberg, number 30, I think. So. So the courthouse is going to take over first and 10 on their own 40-yard. Probably going to take it back, yeah, 40-yard line. Yeah, they're going to 39. They, they got a real good athlete at quarterback by the name of Troy Brown. He's been he's been with their program. This is his third year. He's their all-time leading uh, interceptions person on defense, but he switched over and started playing quarterback this year. A lot of different offensive sets for courthouse. You're going to have to call these names out because I don't have a book, a book, and you know how I am with, with names. They look like DeFilippo and uh, Brandon Brock on the tackle that time for London. And we got a perfect view right here on the 41-yard line. We're nice. We won't have to use, won't have to use yep. Zoom tonight, I don't think. Yeah, we are just about. That does look like ground level, doesn't it? We'll get some good ground level shots. The bleachers are only like about 10 steps high. Second and 10. London's playing a strong safety up. They're just counting on courthouse trying to run the ball. This is Matt Smith, number two. He's, He's a big tail behind his blockers. He's finally brought down oh, Bobby Sanders and Dillard on the tackle. And Matt Smith's a load. Number He's two. a big man. I don't also, have any, anything on him, but he looks like he's good, but good 240. He's big. Also, they got Aaron Reif. I think he's number 35. He runs out straight out of the fullback. So it's almost kind of like a wing T, except they start out in what's called Woody Hayes or what you guys call a bolus backfield, three backs. Full, full backfield. Full I don't back. know what they're doing now. You know, got a man in motion. motion. Yeah, the rain started. Troy Brown has got, got a quarterback the on the loose. He's, he's a good athlete. He makes a pretty good yard. He's, he's brought down by number 59, 55. That was DeFillipa, uh, or oh, Farrell. Yeah. Pat O'Farrell. First down, though. This is going to be an interesting night. If, the, if all of a sudden there's no game, you'll know the rain <laughs> took care of the game. Now we don't see any lightning so far. But. in motion this time. Oh, yeah. the Philip will finally makes the tackle. Oh, Walters just missed him on that rush from the free safety position. 
or for a strong safety position. They're slowly getting in London territory, which is out of our view. <laughs> so I guess it's going to be second and ten, no gain on the play there. So. It's like London, yeah. starting out traditional Wes Mason, Tennis White, Dustin Denon on the front three on the defense with your defensive ends, Derek Wallace and Brandon Brock, O'Farrell and uh, DeFilippo are your linebackers. Alcott's out this week, so Hodge or Dillard gets a start at defensive cornerback. And we got flags all over the place. Gonna make it second and 15 for Cordell. Looks like we might have a pretty good crowd. Well, the bleachers are so small, Gary, that yeah, <laughs> put more than 50 people and it looks packed. Got a man in the slot. It's Troy Brown going back to pass. Denon nails him. Uh, and we got flag on the play. Their quarterback's getting up slow. Denon hit him hard. And it was a good, clean hit. Seventy-five looks like he's bigger than Denon. Who is seventy-five for us? It's Kenneth White. He's a big fella. He just ain't got the girth on him that Dustin has. He's almost as tall. They're gonna, they're gonna get us for pass interference. Yep. It'll be an automatic first down. I believe. Yep. Quarterback showed that he does have an arm. He laid that one out there pretty good. Yeah. He's a good athlete. He could be. He could be the X factor in this game. He took a good hit on that, though, which is probably what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to smother him up. That's right. Right, looks like he got some wheels, too. I'd say he's down to about the six. Can't really tell. What do you think, Carl? I'm down to the eight, according to the scoreboard. We've got 9.20 to go here in the first quarter. And no score, but Cordos is knocking on the door. And they're moving the ball, look like, with ease. Well, I think they're running. They run a lot of different plays. They're kind of unpredictable. They got double wide out to the top of your screen this time, left side of the field. That's a new formation for them. Brown. Quick hit on the right. And he's in. That's Aaron Wright. Cordos draws first blood. Six to nothing with nine, 16 left in the quarter. It's not a good sign. Well, they got three touchdowns last week against Greenfield McLean, and that's been their biggest offensive output all year long, with 21 against McLean. And it looked like it went left. No good. See a flag down. Enemy flag down. They're roughing the kicker. Uh, yep. I didn't see any interference on that uh, pass play. Unless he was blocked into him. Just going to give the courthouse a chance to re kick this and get their, get their point. So it. Cordos going to go for another try. Left the first one was wide left. A little like fun looking little goal post. Yeah, oh, you for soccer, soccer yeah. Yeah, it was real high. You missed it. Missed it again? No, you made that one. Oh, I got that one. So with 9-16 left in the first quarter, Courthouse takes the lead. 7-2 zip. Oh, Falcott out. Who's deep now? We got Gossard and Monte Jackson. Looks like Will Longsource back on special teams again. He must be back in healthy status. Picks 
Breaks a couple tackles. Well, that field's close yeah. to the field, isn't it? It looked like he was waiting for the ball to go out of bounds and decided not to go out of bounds. Like like four, time. Courthouse really? down. Yeah, all the football players probably in your way. Uh, I used to know where we Kids just sport. Rolling. <laughs> Back to live action, Red Raider fans. Barcoya in the center. He sweeps right, fakes the hand, fakes the pitch out. It's going to be good for about five yards. Maybe Where's the flags at? They're on our side. Looks like maybe only got two. Got a tough angle from here. Courthouse will start out in what they call 62 defense, which is four down linemen, two defensive ends, and two linebackers. So. We're going to start out with eight men in the so, box right away. I heard uh, Keith was a uh, defensive specialist. Defensive specialist. <laughs> so if we've got any criticism, you're going to hear it from Keith. He's 2-0, and, oh, and he calls the defense. Oh! Filippo tripped up over his own man. That's still going to be a couple yards short. <laughs> they got a key on the Filippo and Hodge. If you key on them, you pretty much got things under control. Well, the Philippo's got over 750 yards on the season so far, according to the dispatch. So. I looked at the cheerleaders down there, I thought there was a little leg. Uh, I was going to say, it looks like Nick Washington Courthouse, Matt Smith's coming up with a football, but <laughs> nothing's going to do there. Is that uh, family? No, no, Matt no. Smith? No. I see he's on he's actually a pretty good athlete. Punt. <laughs> <laughs> London's in a punting situation here. Yep. Fourth and one. Looks like London is going to punt. From their own, what are they, on their own 39. So now the question is, Barkoviak's going to be the punter. We'll see what that brings for London. Alcott's been doing a pretty fair job for the Red Raiders all year. I understand he's got an ankle injury. Got a bad pass back to him, but he gets a decent punt. Nice high punt. Fair catch called for by Troy Brown. And right down there for London was Jerry Walters and uh, Will Longsdorf. So, so Courthouse going to take over first and 10 on about the 28 yard line. And the wind is picking up and so is a little bit of rain. I can feel it on my hand. See it on the side of there. Starting to hit it. Need some weights on this. This is above and beyond the call of duty here. Yep. It's above and beyond my call. It's a number 11 in motion. Number 11 needs up with the ball. I'd say he got probably about two yards on the carry. Gonna bring up second and eight for Courthouse. They lead with 7.05 left to go in the first quarter. We've given up, we've given up a touchdown so far, so now it's time to have we got this deep offense figured out. So we make our defense work. I don't think Courthouse has quite the size the offensive line that they've had in the past when we've been down here. That's fake to Matt. Who does have the ball? That must be right. right for fullback. The middle. You gotta remember these two teams last year, Washington Courthouse won at London 10 to 7 on a Sean Myers had a oh about a 22, 23 yard field goal and he hit the left upright, if you remember, and bounced away. So it was actually a pretty close ball game. He won it for and Myers won it for No. Just that's how close it was. It could have been a tie ball game, been going into overtime. So. But it should never have gotten to that point. Now they go shotgun formation. Right at you. They got the quarterback out here. He's got a first down. He's reaching for it. Yep. I don't know who threw that pass, but they threw it to the quarterback. He lined up as receiver and 22 lined up in shotgun formation. So it worked. Threw that one right at the camera. Did he? Right there, there. You hear any crackling up here? Carl's eating cookies in the booth. So. Yeah. Then did, did the Maritech booth. Did they give you one? He didn't give you any. Did he offer you one? <laughs> <laughs> You're on defense. You ain't got time. <laughs> got three in the backfield, one out the top of your screen. Ooh. Nice, nice penetration there by Wes Mason and Nick DeFilippo. So. Did a good up. job sniffing out the ball that time. 
If you had a wife, he, she could pack you something in the corner. <laughs> I ain't in that. <laughs> I hope Carl's mic's not turned up tonight. <laughs> we have second 11 for Courthouse. He's got an earless mic. <laughs> Boy, London's real soft on the top of your screen. They're just counting on Courthouse to run the football. Troy Brown rolls to his left, top of the screen. Incomplete Say what, this Troy Brown carries them fakes out. You can see him real good here down here at this level. And he really carries his fakes out. You don't know who's got the ball. He hides that ball well. Well, times this looks like a wing tee. Like I said, they, they split guys out. Sometimes they'll split two of them out. Barkoviak goes into the ball game for London on defense. See, Sanders came out. It's third and 11, so there definitely looks like a passing situation for Courthouse. Got one receiver at the bottom of your screen. They split up Matt Smith to the top. They send him in motion. Matt Smith might try to throw it. He might try to throw it. Nothing doing. And he was brought down by 44 and 69. West Mason, who's 44? That's Brandon Brock. Brandon Brock. It kind of looked like Smith was thinking pass as soon as he got the ball. He was going to pass. Yeah. Monte had the man covered downfield. And... So they got a whole bunch of people throwing the ball. Well, importantly for the Red Raiders, it puts Courthouse in punt formation. 426 to go here in the first quarter. Only man back. And we got uh, this official back here was going in motion. Procedure against Courthouse, so that's going to make it fourth in almost a month. Yeah. Almost? How much? 25. Yeah, they got to get up to the 50, and the ball's on 25, so about three weeks and two days. There you go. Um, three weeks and four days, actually. Monte Jackson's the only one deep for London. Let's see how Carl, the cameraman, does with this low angle that we got the here. Oh, it's coming! Right right in. In. It's coming right at us! <laughs> <laughs> we could have caught that in the booth as we leaned out. <laughs> Boy, that hurt. He shanked that ball out. That was. He's going to get a beautiful spot, though. He is getting a beautiful spot. That was a terrible spot. That ball, well, he was up to 25. 10, I don't know. Now. About a 13-yard punt there for Courthouse. He shanked it right into the camera. So. Rain's, rain's coming down a little harder. Ball was coming now. right at us, wasn't it? Hodge at fullback to Philip O'Tail. That's Hodge for about two yards. So That's his That's a good job. That ball was coming right. Looked like it was going to come in the booth. Yeah. Or in the, in the stands. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what you're looking at when you're that this close to the this close to the field. Both uh, sides are that their their stadium's built that way too. Yep, they got a wall the there, but it's close. See the umbrellas coming up. Uh, good thing we got the ten. That's Barkoviak on a keeper there. I don't know if that was a busted play or what. I don't. Know. Going down for a kick. No yards on that carry. Take advantage of this position. You got that right. Third and eight. Say there. I fall off his boots if I reach out too far to try to see what's going on. This here just popped in the back of my head. It'll be third and eight according to the board. Looks like about third and nine. So passing situation for the Raiders. But they hand it to Filippo. He's going to be close. I think he's got he's got it. First down, London. This is not a good situation. Yeah. He tied that on. Oh. Nice carry there by DeFilippo. Rain's kind of coming down a strange angle. There's another one. Oh, fumble. He's looked good. Got the ball back. Woo! Had the ball knocked off his hand. Had a near turnover. No yards.
yards on that. Well, London hadn't tried to put the ball in the air yet. Of course, with a rainy night, wet football. This time they send Monte to the top of the screen, Gosser to the bottom. Fake this time. Kodak's got plenty of room to roll. Throw deep for Monte. Touchdown. Yeah. Made it work. Rolled out wide to the right side of the field. He had room to run. But finally had some defenders to come up to him. Monte wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. De Filippo to Monte Jackson. Not De Filippo, but uh, Barkovia. Man, Carl, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Rain's bouncing off your shiny head. <laughs> Take your hat off a minute, Gary. No way. Okay, he eads into a 10 We have a monsoon point. then. James to hold. Looks He's good. Put it through, so we have it a tie is. ball game. First quarter, 155 left in the first quarter. We have a tie ball game. Seven to seven. The sign goes on. Pizza, too. Where's the pizza? Popcorn. <laughs> It's too bad the climbing lineman don't get a, get a, he, don't, he don't like the rain. Short kick and it's number 12. He's the one that got burned on the touchdown, so he's got some making up to do here. Brings it back to the Washington Courthouse 48 yard line. Wow. Good return. Of course, it's about what a 15 yard return. Kick was very short. So courthouse going to take over first and 10 on the 48 yard line. I'll try not to fall out of 10 to see this <laughs> 147 to go in the first quarter. We have a tie game, 7 to 7. This rain would just ease up for about a couple hours. Well, this time they got two running backs in a pro formation with the man in the slot and the man out to the bottom of your screen. I hope that thing will hit my side head. did bring him down, but not after he got a first down. Oh, he's a big kid, isn't he? Sanders didn't two. look like he attempted too hard. Uh, he didn't want no he piece of that, I don't think. He's pretty big man coming at him. Try to get down them ankles and get them ankles, get them feet off my room. Well, he dove for the ankles, but I get some shoulder pads into him. Yeah, this time, three formations. Like I said, every time it's different formation for Courthouse. Keep London on their toes. There's Matt Smith again. The bottom line is they're running it and they're making it work. And that's a lot of formations for a high school team. Yep. I'd much rather trying to be run all them formations and try to defend all of them. How many do you run in your little league team? Oh. I hear you're two and zero oh now. Oh. We've been pretty fortunate so far. Matt Smith, the one you got, you got to watch. He's at the top of your screen. Oh, courthouse jump, so yep, offside. that's going to help. In coach. So instead of make it second and five, it's going to make it second and ten. I'm going to deal with this, Carl. Like I said, if your TV goes dead, it's probably not in your TV. It's probably the fact is that we discontinued filming because of some catastrophe. <laughs> Could be the coach's tower falls on top of us. That's one possibility. I know they're having a ball up there. I, bet I they see are. Manuel made his way down inside. Into the first quarter. Here we go. London seven. Washington Courthouse seven. Carl got the scoreboard Pretty, there. Well, even for first quarter there, like you said, 7-7. Seven, seven. Pepsi. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second quarter, courthouse. Same lineup. Oh, brand new runner here. He's quick. 
Sanders on the tackle, but not until Washington Courthouse picks up about 13 yards there and a first down inside the London 20. I don't know who he was, but he's picking them up and putting them down. Well, actually, he's down to London 22, but. Pretty solid looking little back, too. Yep. Their band's pretty good. They jam, don't they? Will Longsdorf in there on defense now for the Red Raiders. It's, that's your strong safety, number 21. London's blitzing. There's Rife. He's going to get about, oh, maybe a yard and a half. Just in this scenario, they just followed the ball. Pretty easy to follow. The quarterback went right with the Rife. Is yeah. Rife the quarterback? No, Brown's, Troy Brown's the quarterback. But he's, he's tricky, though, because he. he you think he's going to do one thing, and next thing you know, he might just do something else. So, wind's picking up here, and the rain's picking up. The rain's coming down. That's Matt Smith on the carry. Student body right. That's Brandon Brock out there chasing him out of bounds for the Raiders. Smith's a load to bring down. He'd be, he's a big boy. He'd be getting the ball, ball more often if I was coach. Tonight, tonight's his big night. He was named homecoming king, too. Did you oh, know yeah? that? He probably threatened everybody, <laughs> as big as he is. I mean, king or else. And once again, I picked the queen. No comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> And we got a timeout. There's that number 41. Oh, Will Longstorff's in there. He don't want to go down. That was O'Farrell in there for London. Longstorff had him. He's kind of blitzing off that strong safety position each time. Just trying to get around the line before the courthouse can get a, get a handoff, basically. Yeah, 41, he's a pretty stocky kid. It's going to bring up. Looks like fourth and ten, according to the down markers. Courthouse is going to go for it. At least it appears that way. Fourth and ten from the London 22. So let's see if Courthouse has got a trick play up her sleeve. They already tried a halfback pass from Matt Smith. Out. There's Troy Brown rolling. He's looking for Matt Smith. He's got the first down. He's barely got the first down. He's all the way who down to the 10 tackle? yard line. Couldn't tell who made that tackle. Ben Barkoviak. I don't know. To the 34 or 44. Yeah. 34 De Filippo. 44. Barkoviak comes out. I think they put Sanders back in on defense. It's first and goal from just outside the 10, or first first and 10 from just outside the 10 for Courthouse. There's Rife, the big fullback. He's got one touchdown already, down to about the five. Continues to rain. If anybody wants to sponsor flu shots for the crew here in the booth. <laughs> We may need them after the night. It's kind of cold and wet up here. Just get the rain to blow another direction, not like that. That's Rife, the fullback. He comes down. I don't see any signals for a touchdown. No, nope, he's a little short. You can't quite see. Maybe down. I think we're going to set it just about the hash mark, about the three yard line. It's going to bring up third. Or the fourth. Third down. I believe they can get a first down just right, right inside the one yard line. So, one of the chains is what it looks like. Third and two. London's got single coverage on the bottom of your screen. Uh oh. Somebody little, jumped. A little dinning on the bull rush. He's probably going to point a finger at somebody else. But. Let's see what the call is. It's going to be half the distance to the goal penalty against the Red Raiders. 
And Barkoviak back in on defense. Looks like this time Hodge is going to, or Dillard's going to check out. Now they're in a wing T formation, one full back back. They send Smith in motion, the hand to him. He's got plenty of room, touchdown. Goes in, stand untouched. So it makes the score now 13 to seven. Courthouse takes the lead with ceiling. She passed the umbrellas. 8.15 left in the second quarter. Courthouse on top. Let's see if they have another adventure with their extra point. I thought maybe he missed that second attempt last time, but didn't make it through, so. Nice snap, nice hold. Looks good. 14-7. Blue Lions in the lead. There's a scoreboard. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 7 to 14. Orson Courthouse on top with 8.15 left in the second quarter. We're looking at a seven-point difference there. Courthouse sets the kick off. I got Gossard and Monte back deep. I don't know. I don't. They're giving that, give them a lot of respect. They're all the way back at the ten. I don't think he can kick it nearly that far, and he's not going to. That's going to be. Uh, that's old Jerry Walters on the run for London. He's going to bring it back. Jerry Walters. The, I don't know if he was sure where he wanted to go yeah. there. He almost got run run down by one of his own players. Bring it back to the London 45 yard line. So Red Raiders take over. He turned to pick up a blocker, and the blocker ran right into him. So the field position hasn't been bad at any time so far. Well, we got kind of lucky when he shanked that punt. That, that hey, really. Hey, what are you doing? Where? Kids underneath the booth act like they're going to unplug us. Oh, I missed the play. I didn't see what was going to happen there, but anyway, it looks like Nick got Nick got a pick up there and going to give him about eight yards on the carry for Nick. Of course, London didn't have a whole lot of offense in that first quarter. I think we had the Filippo down for four carries for 16 yards and Hodge for one carry, Barkoviak two carries. The big play was the 30-yard touchdown pass from Barkoviak to Monte. Second and two. Kidder by Hodge, and he's nothing doing. He got zero on that one. He met at the line of scrimmage and driven back. Smith's going to make a third and two. We can't see the yard lines. 25. I, hey, they said 25. I see it more like 27. I think we're down to 21. Give him 26 on the carry. Nice run by Nick. Nice downfield blocking by Monte, too. That's the oh. again. He's met at the line of scrimmage. He went to hurdle number 88, and hurdle number 80 was going to have none of that. I'm mad at that. Yeah. I'm mad at this. <laughs> yeah, not even fun to play. If it's warm and rainy, if playing football is okay in the rain, but when it's cold and rainy, it ain't no fun. <laughs> Oh, 
pull back the hot the hot Hawes around the right side but Can't tell not much there maybe a yard on that one looked like it might have got a yard or two should bring up third, third and ten big play here for london outside of field goal range i'd say Really two down territory here. Oh, he got, the got a fumble there. And ran with it. First down. Man. Dillipo is playing the ball, ain't he? So he got a first down there. Got a perfect bounce. Ball bounced right back up in his hands. I can't tell what yard line it brought down to. But we got a wet ball, so. Kind of loose. First down. First and ten. Actually, looks like first and goal from about the three. You guys spotted? Ball is on the three. Leonard's looking to score. First and goal. And we got a timeout. Flag down on the mm. Somebody line up in the neutral zone. Offside, offside London. No, nobody jumped. They just lined up offside. Oh, we got a blessing with that way that ball uh, bounced back up in Philippo's hands to get to where we are. So you're saying that wasn't a design play? The Philippo designed it, not the team. That hurt, that hurt right there, the five yard penalty. Oh, man. Come on, win. Oh, Nick falls down, so. It's going to make it about, what, second and about eight? We're, we're down to the three. We're down to the three. We're down to the three. We're calling second down nine that time, so we lost from one on that from the Man, that's not that hard. That's that, that's that, uh, Scaffold rocket. Going back to me that time. It's close. It's only going I think it's only going to bring it back down about the four. Really? Can't tell from here. As you can show by the picture there, we're our ground Ball's level. going to be back down to the three, so third and three. Well, third and goal from the three, so Red Raiders got to convert to stay in the ball game. Well, they apparently lined up offside again. And how do you do that? You just Con no concentration. That's just a or, or, or are we getting some bad calls? I'm out. Back to live action. Third and eight. They're pushing. Trying to run inside, but these two penalties are going to cost the Red Raiders a touchdown here, looks like. Let's hope not. This is probably four down territory, and since it's a wet ball, I look for us to go for it. It's fourth and four right now. Fourth and goal from the four. Chiller goes in with the play. Bobby Sanders lined up the top of your screen. Maybe a lob pass to the tight end here. Bobby Sanders, that looks like Dillard. And Jacoby goes in for the touchdown. Oh, touchdown, Red Raiders. Nick DeFilippo. So, pin in the extra point with three minutes and 30 seconds to go. London scores. Spread them wide and run it right up the middle. Mm -hmm. I didn't look like he spread him out wide to me. <laughs> the only one I seen out was Dillon. Going for an extra points here for London. Got a good snap, good hold, good kick, fake. Randy James running around right in. No good. Is that an intentional fake there? There's your scoreboard. There's your scoreboard. Gary, I hope you read Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi, 14 to 13. How much time? 3.30. No, there's a whole bunch of stuff goes across there. Yeah, they, 
Red Raider fans. Washington Courthouse 14, London 13. Eads kicks deep. That's Troy Brown, number seven. He's trying to get a wedge. Breaks it to the right side. Nice tackle by Dillard out there, number seven. Caught down by Dillard. Courthouse will take over. Leading. 23 left in the second quarter, leading by one point, 14-13. Courthouse first and 10 on the 47 yard. It seemed like they've been in the 45 area. Yeah, it started Both out. Teams every time. Yeah, it started out. Nobody's really kicking very deep. Red Raiders got nine men in the box. Sir. That's Brown rolling this way. He's looking to the short man, the tight end, covered by Sanders there. But Sanders. First down courthouse, Blue Lions. He made it look easy. Well, they sent the wide receiver on this side to a deep pattern. Took Monte with him, and then the tight end came across underneath. So You make your own bricks. So you're saying those, those the chain markers are just like those there? No. <laughs> Spin fight off for a set of chain markers and cry because they break in the little league. That's Rife, your big fullback. Looks like he's going to pick up about two yards. I can't tell who's in there. Nick DeFilippo might have got the first hit on him in the backfield. I don't know how quarterback's smooth at getting that ball in there. It looked like a low handoff. Courthouse really has done very well on offense so far. That's Matt Smith, quarterback, nice fake by the quarterback. Yeah, he's run out of bounds. That was Five Dillard come 21. up there. Dillard and 21. Oh, that's Will Longsdorf for London. Longsdorf. So that's going to bring up about third and seven, looks like, or about third and six from the uh, London 36-yard line here for Courthouse. We're down to 218 left to go here in the first half. This time they only leave one man in the backfield. Broy Brown, oh, through the lob for the tight end. Nothing doing on that. So, who is the wind picks up here? Gary's holding the tent down. Using Gary for a uh, steak. Not the kind you eat. <laughs> Courthouse looks like they're going to set up in punt formation here. I don't know. I wouldn't believe them all the time right here, being inside their own 40. But. Monte is not going to go back very deep. I think he's just going to let him punt it. And he's oh, probably one of the best punts of his career. Yeah, he's going to he's going to down it down on about the six yard line. Looks like. So that's going to be about the deepest. We've oh been yeah, no doubt, no doubt about that. I believe the rain's letting up, Gary, and I think the sun's coming out to shine. Going a lot. Two oh five left in the first half. Keith's going to cause lightning to strike. He's telling him lies. <laughs> Red Raiders are deepest. They've been in field position all night. All the way down to our left. That looks like just a straight hand off to Hodge. And that was to DeFilippo. We'll give him about one carry on that. He's really been a workhorse here in the second quarter. So you give him one yard? I gave him one yard. How many did he get? One carry. Oh, well, I was just going to say he's had nine carries so far in this quarter. In the workhorse. Let's see time winding down here in the first half. Let's see if London's got something up her sleeve or if they're just comfortable going in with the lead or with a being down by one at the half. That's DeFilippo again trying to pound around the right hand side. Oh, what happened? My view was blocked by the tent. Their guy shoved our guy, and our guy hit their guy. It's like court. 
Looks like Courthouse is going to take a timeout here. So it's still a minute and 16 seconds. So Courthouse looks like they can feel like they can get the ball back with good uh, field position. And people dodging the tent on the other side here. <laughs> Markoviak's going to back up almost his own end zone, throw deep. Oh, Gossard's wide open. Oh, and he couldn't find it. Outran the ball. Couldn't Pass find it. There. <clears throat> That's going to bring up fourth down for London. And they're going to be standing in their own end zone Boy, trying to had, punt. He had room to run, too. He was How do you miss passing like that? The main thing is you need to just catch the ball. Yeah. And uh, you know, even if you call it, you need to catch the ball. Markoviak's going to stand in his own end zone to kick. No rush from Courthouse. Oh, he kind of shanks one low. Coming to London bounce, though. So. It's going to go out of bounds on the Courthouse 41-yard line, so they're going to get the ball back with 101 left to go here in the first half, 41 yards from pay dirt. So we just traded yard line. That's where they kicked from when they kicked uh, earlier. Of course, we were surprised that they kicked, but uh, they did the right thing. Oh, yeah. For their team, we're down to a minute and one second left in the first half. Courthouse takes over on the 38-yard line. I'd look for some creativity again from the courthouse offense. This is Troy Brown in shotgun formation. Denon is playing referee out there. Denon don't mess up. Let's see. There you go. Yep. Off side to blue. Now it's going to make it first and 15 for the blue lines. He ain't going to miss no free hit now. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hit nobody. Well, there's that free meal. He ain't going to miss <laughs> Said I've seen Courthouse over the years do a lot of trickery on offense. So we got, now, now watch, this is number 22 in the shotgun formation. This is not the regular quarterback. Oh, almost. Monte picks it off. Oh, he gets tackled by Matt Smith, but Red Raiders gonna take the ball over on the oh on the on the courthouse 44-yard line with 53 seconds to go here in the first half. That's, that's called staying right with it, Monte. It looked like some hit is out of bounds. Yeah, yeah I kind of thought they was, but of course, he still had running room up the yeah, sideline. So close to the field here. London takes over. Go right back to him. Huh? Yeah, Monte's on the top of your screen. And pretty much. They send Gossard in motion. This time we're looking for looking for Monte across the middle. Their man falls down. He's gonna go for six. He's gonna go for six. Did he make it? Did he he's, get in? What's the call? Nope, nope, he's gonna call him down. Troy Brown rushed. Troy Brown ran him down. Troy Brown ran him down. Troy Brown ran him down. <laughs> <laughs> I think Troy Brown ran him down. <laughs> that time they faked. Remember the pass that they almost had to Gossard. Well. Oh, they, down to the one. Everybody in the stadium knows DeFilippo is going to get it. He fumbles. What's the call? He's already in. Touchdown, Red Raiders. How do you know he fumbled? He did fumble. I saw the fumble. But he's across the plains. It's, it's yeah, he was across the plains, so. <laughs> he's had quite a few fumbles tonight. The ball must be off a slipper. Yeah. It's wet. It's cold. I got gloves in the truck, too, yeah, man. Yeah, I I got gloves yeah. in my pocket. Somebody's happy. What a party! <laughs> <laughs> This time, Red Raiders going to go for it, being down by. That put London on top. Yep, or being up by five. This is a situation where you go for it. There's another two-point conversion there for DeFelpo. So Red Raiders go up on top, 21-14. 21-14. Candy. 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we see. Go back to Monte. London scores on the default ball, and we got a flag. That's called by the line, Judge, and that means offside against Washington Courthouse is what it'd be what it looked like to me. I said too many players. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They got 11 on the field, so. <laughs> what was it? I'd say Washington Courthouse lined up offside. He was over, standing over the line. Standing over the line, just a little bit. Like, apparently, you're not allowed to touch that line. Yeah, this time, Eads will kick off from the London 45, so. Got to watch Troy Brown back deep for the Blue Lions. He's he's got some speed. He's a good athlete. That's a quarterback. That's number 11 for Courthouse. He's stringing it out. Boy, that's a lot of running for no yards. 21. We're down to 35 seconds left to go here in the first half. 21 was in on that tackle. Who's 21? Keith? That's Will Longsdorf. Good to see him back playing for the Red Raiders. Troy Brown handing off to Rife, the fullback. And he's met with a host. <laughs> yep. Looks like DeFilippo maybe and maybe Wallace in there, Denon. I think that's going to be about it. Party. <laughs> Got another whistle. Got a whistle here. Somebody's. Yep, they're just going to let it wind off. So we're going to end up the score here at the end of the first half. London 21, Washington Courthouse 14. Receive here at the start of the second half. Blue lines to kick off. Real quick, Gary, I got some stats from the first half. Uh, the Filippo, 14 carries for 73 yards and two touchdowns. And uh, passing, Barkoviak two for three for 67 yards and one touchdown. And of course, Monte, two receptions for 67 yards and one touchdown. So there's your score. He makes the score. 21 14. 21 14. The two point conversion by DeFilippo. I didn't include that. One interception. And one interception by Monte. You're correct. Hit, Red, hit. Hit. Uh oh, that's a live ball down there. Gossard's going to pick it up. He, He's trying to run sideways. He's trying to get outside. He's going to take it back to about the London, maybe 16-yard line. He's, he was running great until he slipped up and seen him on nothing but a sea of blue <laughs> on his tail. Did they say a flag on the play? Uh, I didn't see a flag on the play. The courthouse is going to take over. It looks like on the... London's going to take over. Or London's going to take over. And the rain has been taken over. Good weather for ducks, huh? <laughs> That's going to be half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul, so Red Raiders are going to take over the ball in their own seven. So the last two possessions for London, they've taken over deep in their own territory. Send to Filippo in motion. On top of your screen, old busted play there. Maybe a little piling on, but no call there, so. Bring up second and probably 11, I'd say. Not much upset you more than we trying to get up and a late hit takes you back down. Hits you in the back of the head. That's going to say loss of two, so. Well, let's see how London does in the second half. It's kind of been our demise. Oh, Hodges broke one open. Monte's trying to get a block. Troy Brown's going to run him down again. Great run by Mon, by all the way from the five-yard line all the way down to the 
Washington Courthouse, 35. So that's, could that have been a loose ball? No, he was already down. It looked like he was down. Fumble, Fumble ground caused it. <laughs> he jumped back up and got on. Yeah, I was, I was getting ready to say, I'm good thing he did. 60 yard carry there by Hodge. So, hey, when you play nine men on the box on defense, you take that chance. If somebody's going to slip one through on you. Red Raiders did with the fullback dive. Yeah, nice block from Monte. Yep, nice block from Monte. To Filippo. Oh. Nice tackle by Matt Smith there. Going to be a loss of one for the Raiders. Bring up second and 11. Still going to try to keep these stats. My paperwork's getting wet. My ballpoint pen is not working properly. At least we got the game down in front of us. Yeah. Boy, wouldn't it be big for the Red Raiders to tack on a touchdown right here? Second and about 12. That's DeFilippo on the carry. He's going to be back to the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to bring up third and 10 for the Raiders from the Washington Courthouse 35-yard line. And the rain continues to rain. Give me sing, Gary. Go ahead. <laughs> it makes you feel better. Gary's in kind of a mellow mood tonight. <laughs> I have a recycling song that I know. Oh, no. <laughs> Flag thrown by the line judge. Apparently, London is lined up offside again. It's going to be a five yards. So it's going to make it third and 15 for London. For some reason, we don't like short yardage. Get Monte with that slant again. Carl's calling for Monte on the slant. Hodge goes in. Gossard checks out for London. Fourth and 15. Got Mon Monte at the top of your screen. That was Walters, I'm sorry. Walters lined up a tight end. DeFilippo goes in motion. That's a handoff to Hodge. And Hodge is on the rampage again. He's going to pick up about seven yards, but that's not going to be enough for the first down. So Red Raiders got to make a decision here from the. Third and 16, it's time to punt. Well, no, they're going to be. It actually should be about fourth and, uh, fourth and nine here from the 34-yard line, and the Red Raiders look like they're going to go for it. Red Raiders. Is deceptive. Where the ball is right now, it looks like we're deep in their territory. Now we're at the 35, so this time Hodge goes in motion. Fake pitch, end around to Walters, out of the tight end slot. Nice run by Jerry. First down. Wow. Great run. Jerry Walters. Kept his feet moving. I don't think that was mapped out that way by the. I don't think I was mapped out that way by the coaching staff, but he just kept running, man. Game got it one way, going the other way. Nice run by Walters. Made some serious cuts on that play. Red Raiders down now to the courthouse. It's like down to the 24. That's DeFilippo. He's still got his feet moving, but he ain't going to go nowhere. It's, it's going to let him down easy, but they blew the whistle. Yeah. <laughs> and they was letting him down easy last week, Gary. <laughs> yeah, that right. That's makes it look that way, is he makes the hit. He, he makes the initial hit. So he takes them. Down and say, yeah, instead of him taking the brunt of the hit. That's a good way to look at it. Courthouse very soft on the Red Raider receivers. To both sides of the field this time. Big hole there. It like he had a big hole, but it closed pretty quick. Jameis Rich and Dollar in there at center, and look like Derek Wallace in there. Right guard made quite a hole there. Keep that clock running. Oh, guess I'm shivering and I'm bouncing the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went and got your coat, didn't you? Yeah, I got my winner. <laughs> I don't know how I survived the first half. <laughs> Monte comes way to the bottom of your screen. And then this time Hodge comes in motion to the bottom of your screen. Oh, big hole. Nick picks. Now he cuts it outside. 
I can't see down there, but oh, that was sweet. touchdown, Red Raiders. He picked up his blockers. Yeah. After he got down, Phil did a good job picking up his blockers. And Phillip was playing really, really, really smart ball. Since they moved into tailback, he's been a different person. Well, that carry there took him over 100 yards for the night, so and it's his third touchdown. It's a took different London. team, too. It has been a different team. Dean Courthouse, like and I said. 7-11, that's, that's the old lucky number. 7 come 11, ain't it? That's how much time is left right now. 27-14, London's trying to put this one away. James to hold. The kick up by Eads. All right, Red Raiders. <laughs> 28-14 with 7-11 left in, in the third quarter. Keep that clock running. London's on top. London kicking off after it went up 28-14. to 14. Hit the ground. No. That's right. He falls down. Never had control of the ball. I don't think he did, but he automatically he thought he was down. He must have heard a whistle, so he did. He he took off before he heard a whistle. So the ball down on the he cracked up the London dove on that ball, been loose ball. Pick it up and run it in. It's deceiving. Washington Courthouse is going to take over on their own 11 yard line, looks like. So and it rains, it pours. Yeah, it's doing that. Of course, I. A couple times Troy Brown has thrown the ball. He's not looked too bad. Of course, he's got one interception, but I like their, I like their best look as Matt Smith running the football, big number two. That's right for fullback. Got about two or three yards. Let's see if they move anything. It's like uh, maybe Wallace and DeFilippo out there on the tackle for the Red Raiders. Three yards on that gain on that. I think I see the sun coming out, Gary. I think the rain's about over. I think you better cut foot down them fibs. <laughs> Courthouse still got a pretty full backfield. One receiver out in the pattern. There goes Smith in motion. There he He's just trying to come off tackle. Stripping! Oh, he's finally brought down by number. It's like De Filippo. And Mason in there on the tackle. Nice job by O'Farrell to turn him back inside. I keep hearing voices now. What they're doing back there? Yep, staying back. Okay. Now Red Raiders on defense. This is now. Third and three with the ball on the 19-yard line here. So Red Raiders get a stop here. This would be big. Make them punt from deep in their own territory. Send Smith in motion. Philpo's blitzing. He's got the ball. Brown does. He's got some room. Sanders comes up. Yeah. Makes, and makes the tackle. I think he's going to have first down, though. Yep. Going to be first down Washington Courthouse on that run from Troy Brown. That's what happens when you carry out the fake. You fake, you carry out the fake. Then all once you got the ball. Yeah. Because <laughs> the Red he Raiders. Did a good job of carrying the fake out, too. Well, I think DeFilippo went straight for Matt Smith, big number two. I think he thought he had it on the blitz, but. <laughs> Clock's rolling. Keep it running. This might be DeFilippo's job. Yeah, he might be just mirroring Matt Smith. Yep, might just be mirroring him down to 5.15 to go here in the third quarter. Got one out from both sides of the field. Oh! Denon. Did Denon win this one? No. Well, uh, he ain't pointing, so. He ain't pointing this time, so. Offside London. That gives up five yards there. That doesn't help matters any. Gonna bring up. I'll make it first and five for Courthouse. Let's be listening instead of watching. Look at the ball. All you gotta do is look at the ball when it moves, then you move. <laughs> Coach That's Carl. Don't listen to the quarterback. <laughs> That's right, the fullback. Oh, Mason in there for Red Raiders. 44. Brandon Brock also looked like uh, O'Farrell. They kind of plowed him down that time. Hmm. 4.30 left in the third quarter. Running up. 28, 14. 
Right now, London's 1-0 in the conference. Brand new season started last week. She got a 50 to nothing win against Green, or against Hillsboro. So. You got a good chance of winning this one. That's Matt Smith on the carry. He's got some blockers out in front. That's Jerry Walters. Jerry Walters. Big tackle for loss. Big both sides of the ball. Made that perfect. Both there sides of the ball. If you make that big dude have to ju juke and jive, he, he's not that great. If he gets a head of steam up you, on you come around that corner, then you're in trouble. It's like a five-yard loss on a the tackle there. Gonna bring up third and five. This was try to keep the ball dry, but the rain just keeps coming on down. It's just a steady rain. It let up a little bit during halftime for the band. Fake the, the fake the Smith. Oh, oh, fumble. Red Raiders pick it up. Got the ball. London's got the ball. Is that, is that Mason in there, I think, taking the... Number 50. And Wallace picked up the fumble. Mason made the tackle on Brown. Brown tried to get away from him, dropped the football. Derek Wallace with a big recovery. Red Raiders going to take over on the like ball on the 12-yard line, first and 10. Get a chance to put this game out of reach here. Oh, this could be huge right here. We could fold up the tent and go home. <laughs> Had 35-14, that'd be sweet. Rain must not be too cold. Mason likes to hit that hit on his whole bald head. Yeah. <laughs> it's clean, too. He must have shaved it today. Red Raiders bring two receivers to the bottom of your screen. I don't think that's going to fool anybody. That's DeFilippo running left. He hops. <laughs> I think he's down inside the five-yard line. So about a, he don't get caught in the air when he makes yeah. that jump over somebody. About a seven-yard pickup there. So. He hurdled a couple players there to make the seven. He timed his hurdle just right, too, didn't he? He looked like uh, one of the guys in the, in the Christmas song. Over to Lee. <laughs> Timeout, Washington Courthouse. Courthouse wants time to talk about it. I can't even see down that way. <laughs> well, the call is London. Got one wide out both sides of the field. Got an eye line up and quick, quick hitter to the Hogs. He walks in untouched. He does. Just walk in, didn't he? he somebody grabbed a hold of him, but just they didn't do any good. It's like Courthouse wasn't ready or something, wasn't he? They only had two yards. Nice call by the Red Raider coaching staff, Four, man. 34 to 14. London's on top. Well, it's been a long time coming. I can't remember the last time London did beat the courthouse in football. It's been a while. Oh. I don't know what went on there because the, the ball was... Uh, James had the ball in plenty of time. Looked like he took forever to put it down, unless it was slipping in his hands. Pizza, give him the scoreboard. 34-14, 2.42 left to go here in the third quarter from Rainey, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Hopefully we'll be inside next week. Actually, from home watching this on television, uh, this probably looks pretty good. Looks like a nice, beautiful night for football, but it's been raining all night. That's Brown again for, ooh. Like number 10, Vincent Hodge out there on the tackle for London. Brown tried to slow up there and pick up the blockers, but uh, London sniffed him out anyway. So Courthouse is going to take over first and 10 on what line we all have. On the third 33 yard line. 2.37 left in the third quarter. Keep it on the ground, Courthouse. <laughs> mm, yeah. Nope, Matt Smith comes out in formation this time. Walter's on him. Hand off to Rife, the fullback. Well, he come through like a bullet, too, didn't he? Yep, there's a penalty flag thrown in the area holding right there. You're not allowed to do that! <laughs> Have some striped shirts up here in the stands. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you're not allowed to do that. I'm mad at that. 
That's going to be as quick as that hit. And they still held. I mean, that was quick. He come through there like a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody must offensive lineman turning somebody one way or another. So. First and 20 now, since the holding was at about the line of scrimmage, it's 10 yards from the spot, so. If your picture's shaking, it's Keith over here shivering. <laughs> you hear his teeth chattering. <laughs> about coming to the near side. Looking for Matt Smith. Oh. I think Red Raiders are kind of almost willing to give him that pass. I think that Matt Smith is looking, uh, taking a few hits there. And I don't think he's liking it too well. They hit him low, though. Yeah. See that? They he went down pretty boy. easy that uh, quick that time. He didn't yeah. He didn't give the blow like he has been earlier in the game. Kind of hard to hit somebody when they're your ankles. <laughs> yeah. We were hit him, hit him low. <laughs> Had a couple people on him. It's going to be a pass. He's rolling. He's going to run it. He's, He's got two guys it. out in front of him. Nice play. Got a nice block. He almost splits the seam. Uh -oh. going Get him on the hip. First down, red, first down blue Lions, though. Nice yeah. run by Troy Brown. He almost fell when he got up. Yeah, Troy Brown. Uh -huh. He knows how he fakes. He stopped right there like he'd already handed the ball off yeah. and then took off again. Had a burst of speed right there, too, when he seen that hole. Yeah. And then he started pointing his blockers which way to go. He's a pretty smart quarterback. <coughs> He'll probably play at the next level somewhere. Man, it's probably his defensive back. I think he's got 16 career interceptions for Washington Courthouse. Something like that. That was coming into the season because he had nine two years ago. There's Rife, the fullback. He'll pick up about four yards. Tackle by DeFilippo. He's getting mighty muddy out there. Slowly grounding out a few yards there. Got under a minute left in the third quarter. That's a good thing. 34-14. First and seven on the 49. Jerry's giving reports as he peers around the side of the tent. <laughs> Can't remember it all. <laughs> like Carl said to mine, the first thing to go. Courthouse become a lot more predictable, predictable in their formations. Brown, oh, he let that slip. He's kind of looking for Matt Smith. And he's uh, running to number 50. And Derek Wall supplying the pressure there for the Red Raiders. It's going to bring up third and about seven. Kowiak just won the game. Or Kowiak won the ball game, according to Carl, our spotter. Good. Good. Don't call him the spotter. He'll be wanting more money. <laughs> I got the film and spot, too. Give me a break, guys. Do you know the recycling song? No. I've been practicing the recycling song, but I don't think I'm ready to perform yet. Okay. Red Raiders, a full-out blitz. Dump pass to the tight end. Ooh. Barkoviak on the tackle, but first down. Yeah, on the tackle. Was it? No. Yeah. First down, Washington Courthouse. All he needs 10 yards at a time. And that's all they're getting. Down to 12 seconds, though. And the clock's running. So that's going to be the last play of the third quarter here with your Red Raiders in the lead. 34-14. From beautiful downtown Washington Courthouse. They're going to change into the field, so we'll be able to see them come up. Pizza, popcorn. <laughs> First and 10. On the 38-yard line. Courthouse on the move. On London's 38-yard line, that is. Right dead in front of us. That's a brown fakes. He's gonna try to, he's gonna run it. He's got plenty of room. Ball got loose. Looks like they might have got it back. Wes Mason out there. A lot of times you don't have your defensive tackles making tackles on quarterbacks that far down the field. <laughs> you must have chased him down. If 
Fumble recovered by Courthouse, so that's going to give them first down. Got to keep that clock rolling. Ball's on the 18-yard line now. Courthouse on the move. They got a good break. Got to recover their own fumble. Well, London's basically up by three touchdowns. They ought to be able to hold this lead, but we'll see. That's Kenneth White jumping. Let's see. Let's trying to get a zoom. But of course, we got a nice wide angle on this. Def oh, Pat O'Farrell just got the jersey. Got material. They're calling incomplete pass. They're going to call incomplete pass. I don't believe this. You're going to hear a lot of London Red Raider fans scream. Told you. How are they going to get a pass on that? Absolutely, I have no idea. He was definitely in the grass. Yeah. Apparently, he thought he got it off. I didn't. Will it move, Carl? Okay, we got our zoom back. Courthouse knocking on the door here. We're down to 10:55. That's a kind of an inside reverse to Smith, and nothing doing on that. <laughs> and after a minor adjustment on the camera there, is that camera four? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what the case says. <laughs> what it says on the back of it there. Yep. Good job, and the rain's letting up a little bit. Maybe it'll stop by the end of the ball game so we can load up his stuff in a dry stadium. In fact, it's almost stopped. Timeout, Washington Courthouse. Timeout. Courthouse found out, so they call timeout. They like to play in the rain. Yeah. Cheerleaders are hung through thick and thin tonight. Center, two in the backfield. There's Smith on the carry. Nice tackle there by that was Pat O'Farrell, number 55, on the tackle for London. I think it's this thing here, Gary, is touching. So that third down, and third and four to go with the ball on the 12 yard line. Yeah, take it home if you can work with it. Down to under 10 minutes to go in the contest here, so. I think this is, oh, it is fourth down and three, so. 34-14 in favor of Lennon right now. Courthouse is in scoring territory. Big play here, they gotta have three yards to stay in the ball game. Brown fakes to Smith, he rolls right. He needs three yards, he's got a long way to go. He got three. He got it. First go down, Washington. Now. First down, Washington Courthouse. Hey, he's a good athlete. He can get it. He gets a gear boy, he gets one. How far did they get? Down to about the three there, it seems like. Ball's on the five yard line, according to our public address announcer. Somebody closed their uh, umbrella and just drowned it everybody around. <laughs> And stopped raining here, looks like. Let's hope that's not a bad sign for the Red Raiders. London jumps again. And now it's pointing fingers. Let's see what the call is. It's gonna be against London, so. 
Have to take off the striped shirt and put on a football jersey. Brings, put, should put the ball in about two and a half, I think. We're down under nine minutes. Yep. Left in this contest. Under 34, courthouse 14 right now. Doesn't look good though. Hand off the right, the fullback. Did he get in? Uh, yep. yep, touchdown, blue lines. 34 20 right now. Blue line. Boy, the old run the line would have got a workout tonight. Yes, he would have. <laughs> He's at home in a warm, sitting on a warm couch at Carl's I told house. I was sick of him. He's, he's in the car. He's trying to run. <laughs> oh, he's sitting in the car. He don't like the rain. He might rust. Courthouse with the extra point attempt here. It is. Looks good. Look good. It is good. Hey, 21 to 34. Under. Scoreboard. And there's no popcorn or Pepsi. 34 21. It's in favor of London. 8.32 left in this contest. <laughs> Cordos gets set to kick. Well, London with a 13-point lead here with just about 8.30 to go here in the contest. And definitely look for, yep, just what we thought, onside. Nice job, and Chad Andenberg there for the Red Raiders. I see somebody move up front the shield. Yep. That was 61. I don't know how, what the number is on him, but 61. That was his job was to. That's a climbing lion. Climbing lion's number oh, no. 61. I thought we was rid of him tonight. <laughs> you can't get rid of climbing lion number 61. Your big article in today's Columbus Dispatch about special teams and how important they are in high school football and. Climbing lion showed up. No. <laughs> Eight minutes and 30 seconds left. I'm gonna go high on you. Yeah. High low. No, no uh, trivia tonight? Oh, I, we got a trivia. Here, we might as well give it while we're here. We got a little delay. Oh, uh, right after this play, we'll give it. Hey, call a timeout so we can do trivia. Hey, what are you doing? The umbrellas come back out. Don't see too many raindrops. DeFilippo gets a spin. Pick up he about got that down pat. six yards, so. He almost runs out as good as Harris did. Yep. Okay, Gary Trivia. London Red Raiders, when they used to have just a nine-game season before they went to a ten-game season, who holds the all-time record for scoring by a London Red Raider in a nine-game season? And you know. Yeah, I think I know. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yep. We have printed documentation on this. Remind us to give the answer before the game's over. Yes. We'll have to wait till next week. Barkoviak, he's going to throw a pass. Looking for Monte across the middle. He's got some room. He's going to try to cut it back. He is cutting it back. Ooh. He was blindsided, but he held on to the ball. Defensive lineman got back there and made a play. So big play by the Red Raiders there. I bet they caught everybody in the stadium by surprise. Not me. I saw there. it. You predicted it, right? Now as long as we catch it and keep running. The main thing is to catch it and keep the clock running. Yeah. Stay in bounds. Yeah, he did a nice job of staying in bounds, too, so. So what? Hmm? <laughs> so he did. They all the way down to the 16-yard line here. To Phillip over the left-hand side. No, I said so what because you end every sentence with so. So? <laughs> I'm mad at that. <laughs> We're down to almost, almost seven minutes even. So? So. 34-21. Come on, London, we need another score. Send Sanders in motion, in comes the left-hand side, gets set. Ooh, Slip. tailback slips to Filippo, but he gets back up. He keeps running hard. So he's down too far from. He's down down to about the seven. Looks like they got it started on the seven. Now it started on the thirteen. Okay, the ball's on the eight. Now the ball's on the eight. Brings up third, smoke. third and three for the Red Raiders. 
Some on fire? A woman down there smoking. Yeah. Yard line. The Topo comes in motion this way. Hand off to Hodge. He's tackled. He's gonna bring up fourth down for Red Raiders here. This has got to go for it here. I don't think. Push this. Red Raiders. Three. Big chance right here to get a first down. If not, at least they can pin Courthouse down deep. 540 to go in the contest here. Red Raiders up by two touchdowns. We'll try to draw them offside. Didn't work. Barkoviak on the keeper. Nothing doing there. So it's gonna be Washington Courthouse football. Courthouse holds. I'm surprised we went wide that time. Yeah. You only need three, but sometimes you got to switch things up on them. Okay, the answer to this trivia question, since we got you got any guesses What here? was it again? For a nine-game season, the highest scoring total by one player for a Red Raider. For the whole season? For the whole season. I give. You give. Dave Tingley. Dave? Dave who? Tingley. Dave Tingley. <laughs> nope, not correct. Gary McNeil. Gary McNeil. Yeah, that was it. 1927. Oh, Gary that's, McNeil. This is on this one. Oh, intercepted. Off. That's Hodge on the interception. No, it's not. He's still running. He's spinning. He's that's spinning. Dillard. Hodge. That's Dillard. Dillard, I'm sorry. That's Dillard on an interception. Hey, what's wrong, Dad? I didn't see you. Get up. See what That's got a call here. Back. And he knew what to do once he got that ball, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Like a man, man. He, he did good. run. But that, that's 10 yards from the spot, so let's see where the spot is. Yeah, Red Raiders football. So. The main thing is we got the ball back. Oh, and now they're calling the block was on about the 32, so it's going to bring it back. Red Raiders going to take over on the Washington Courthouse 42-yard line. So. you got to stop and think that's probably what sprung him like that, that block. Have to watch a replay. Block. Have to watch a replay. Their uh, paid seats are uh, empty. I'd say there's more Red Raider fans left here in the stadium than there's courthouse fans. If you don't count the band. They should have traded sides for us. Yeah. Red Raiders back on offense here. Courthouse is playing nine men in the box. And not even thinking London's even thinking about passing. Yeah, he tried to jump out of the way of that one. Yeah. Got a helmet right in the face. Okay, answer to Red Raider trivia tonight. 156 points by Howard Porter in 1968. He had 23 touchdowns and 18 extra points. That's Howard Marty Porter. You go, Marty. He's also one of the leading scorers in basketball, too, so. He holds records all in the track, softball, volleyball. Must have been, must have been uh, quite the player back in the day. Wrestling. Wrestling. Big pin. <laughs> he has all. Marty Porter, he's the man. He played with Billy Martin. So that made him even tougher. Yep. I think he played with Dale McNeil, too. I'd like to thank uh, Greg Ellers, who brought in a couple old London Red Raider football documents, which we've been able to get a couple trivia questions out of the past couple weeks. So thanks, Greg. Greg, no play Ellers. He didn't get to play much, did he? I don't know. I thought he was starting center, is what he told me. Well, you ask him, you ask him he'll tell you. <laughs> hey, we're down to four minutes and 50 some seconds. All right. Keep that clock rolling. We might get this game in. I'll be in the van waiting for you as soon as this is over. Let me know when you got stuff packed up. In the van. Come on, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. He threw it out of bounds. All right. And it was almost caught. Yep. He was diving, wasn't he? Yeah. I think that was Sanders going up for it. 
kind of a good decision by Barkoviak, but uh, like you say, keep the ball on the ground. Let's run this clock out. Yeah, you almost thought he'd been way out of bounds. It's kind of deceiving where the sideline's at here. but It does deceive you. Because it was just barely out of bounds. Sanders goes in motion. Sanders. To Filippo, nice big hole. He's going no to the one to beat. He's going to the rock. Filippo, once again. He's having a career night, isn't he? Taking it to the house. The courthouse, that is. Makes it 40, and London ain't done yet. <laughs> They had 50 last week. Yeah, Let's get it to 48 so we can go for two, right? I'm just so glad they finally found this tandem of, of uh, Hodge and DeFilippo and got that working. Started decided to stick with it, and it's playing for them. I think I hear a helicopter. I do hear a helicopter. Extra point, good. 41-21. Carl won't let us see if they're selling any popcorn or anything. We sell nothing. 41-21, 4.43 left. Boy. He just kicked down to number 41. <laughs> he didn't want to go down the way they want to go down, so they just swung him another way. So the numbers there are 61, the climbing lineman on the tackle. Who is that? It's just rolled out of bounds. He got hurt. Let's hope he's not hurt. That's not bad sure. anyway. Rain starts to come down again here on the. And odds is back up. Good thing for the Red Raiders. That's that conditioning paying off. Get your body in condition. You take him little nicks and knacks and keep on stepping. Well, the first five games we had a lot of trouble with. with uh, here comes the rain. Second, second half, we didn't perform well, but it seems like second half of the season, we're doing much better in the second half. So. No, Dan! Again! <laughs> What's he looking at? I don't know. Watch the ball, man. Watch the ball. He was mad, too. On the ball! He was mad. <laughs> He, did, he, had, he was zeroing in on somebody. He's mad at that. Yeah. That's number 41 on the carry. We don't have any line. We don't have any listing of their players, so. So what? So we don't know who that is. <laughs> I did say so again, didn't I? You say it every time. <laughs> you do, you really do. I have to watch the tape. <laughs> I always fall asleep so. every time we put it on. So. <laughs> I put tape on at home, I fall asleep. <laughs> 48 hours, you sleep. Great. Yeah, it's on for Oh, you. I didn't get to see last week's game because I was down at the Pee Wee football field all day on Sunday and I got back and the band was playing and soccer. And some guy was singing. <laughs> That's right, the fullback. Clock keeps winding. We're now under four minutes to go in the contest here. Action right in front of us. Nice zoom in there by the executive producer. There you go. Who also doubles as the cameraman and the spotter. 41-21. Favor of Courthouse. What? <laughs> Trick. Psych. <laughs> so... London. There's Rife. He's got room. He's got a blockers out front. First down, blue line. You see him slow down and tuck that ball in before he got a good foot up ahead of speed. Oh, he's down. He wants out of the game. Get up. How are we doing on time, Carl? Exactly. <laughs> I forgot all about time. And the rain's coming down. Man, look at that. 
Troy Brown's out of the game now. The backup quarterback's in. Nice look for number 31. He's got a wall build. He's got a wall build. Bustopo makes a diving touchdown saving tackle. They executed that real well. I mean, it looked kind of confusing, but once he caught the pass, he had, they had a wall. He had a wall built. A wall of blockers. Still running, 250 to go here in the contest. Red Raiders looking to score. 41 21. We well, are line now on first and goal from about the eight. Number 20. Oh, man. He's close. He's close. But down, no cigar. Down about the one. Let that clock keep running. They said Greenfield 40? 20. 20. So Greenfield's up on the trace? Yeah. By a point in the fourth quarter. I bet it's raining there too, because it's not very far from here. <laughs> That'd be my guess. Boy, look at Courthouse packing everybody in right now here. So what do you think, Gary? You think they're going to run? I would think so. And they run. That's Matt Smith. Touchdown. Smith goes in standing up. Part of the Smith brothers. You saw that with Smith? Number two. <laughs> I get the extra point first. It's 41 27. Now the rain's starting to come down even harder. Looks like a long extra point from this angle, but he kicks it and it's good. 41 28. Get a score. Oh, 41-28. London Red Raiders on top. Yo. So. On sides, what do you think? Gee, what do you think, Gary? Maybe on sides? Up that way. We'll try it again. Get up there. Oh, Courthouse is going to get it. Nope. It's like London Red Raiders on the ball. Who did get it? Monte got it. I don't think, I think London touched it before it went 10 yards, but they're allowed to. Good hand. Warehouse overrun the ball. They had like six to one. Yeah, they, they didn't quite get the bounce they wanted out of it, but that's the way the ball bounces, Gary. That's why you gotta have somebody to get underneath the ball and kick it straight up in the air. Still got all those starters in there. That's Jerry Walters on the carry. Monte trying to get a block for him. He cuts back. He's down inside. Inside, he's down to 30. Monte was making two or three blocks that time. It's like about the 24 yard line they're down to. So. Good run by Walters. Lillard's <laughs> got so many weapons anymore. Everybody stepping He's up. trying to get, he's getting the number twos in there on offense. You want to stay up? Yeah. Number twos are getting organized on offense, so. See, somebody must have taken a timeout. Woo. He's coming down rain. even harder. Yep, we've got the Madison Press reporter, Matt Cordell here. We had a chopper fly by. I don't know what that was, but. The way they were flying by, they thought they were aiming it on the scoreboard. Well, it was. Our news chopper, I gave tonight, I gave our news chopper the night off from our crew, so, since it was raining. It was nice of you. Yeah, we give him the night off. Next time, go through the executive position <laughs> car and get permission to do that. We still have our satellite guys, are still back in, back in London. <laughs> there you go. So, number twos are in there for the Red Raiders, I have them. Can tell you, we've got Borders in there at fullback, Randy James at quarterback. Uh, it's Walters still in the ball game. He's going to try to get him a touchdown. He's going to get him a touchdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he made some good cuts. Sure did make some good cuts. 
Well, 47. I think he was playing against some clean jerseys there from Courthouse, too, but that don't matter. Touchdowns are touchdowns. Yeah. Do they have a three-point play for an extra point? So we get yeah. to 50 again. <laughs> then it start going crazy here to score in the last couple of weeks. 47-28. You'll end up being the team to beat. Okay, in there to kick now for the Red Raiders is number 12, who also kicks left-footed. Wow. And I have no clue who number 12 is, but he misses. So. Shanked it to the right. Pulled it right. Should I get you the scoreboard there? Carl's had plenty of time to set us up. 47-28. See, they, they, they don't advertise after we have touchdowns. They better shut it off altogether. Probably short it out. All this rain. No, second team kickoff in there. No, first team. No, rain. second team kickoff in there. Woo! We down? Yeah. We're not. Come on, hit the ball down. A lot of numbers out there. Eads is going to kick it. I see Gossard out there. A lot of new numbers. The climbing lineman's out there. Number 61. There you go. What's he uh, doing out there? Andenberg, number 12, who attempted the extra point. He decided he wasn't going to get no action here, so he went out there, huh? On the field. Notice he's got the, the, the uh, dark jersey on, number, on his arms. Uh-oh. London's just going to kick a short one. Number 12 for Courthouse. Oh, nice tackle there by number 58 for the Red Raiders. So. And we still have a minute and a half left. And it's still raining, and the sun has not come out. Yeah, my feet are damp, too. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we'll find out for next week. I'm sure his mother will call me. <laughs> My son is 58. <laughs> I think that's nice that they call you. <laughs> what do they call you? Yeah, what do, yeah, they, what call do they call you? <laughs> A lot of twos in there on defense right now. I can't quite, I'm you know, not going to be able to get all of them, but. Second stringers might as well get a chance to get wet and cold too, so. Well, they're already doing that on the sideline. Yep. Number 41 on the carry for Courthouse. Let's see who's going to get a tear. Ooh, nice stick back here by somebody. Maybe that might have been Will Longsdorf. It's coming down even harder now, so. Carl, Gary, and I will be waiting in the van while you tear down the tent, okay? <laughs> I got it nice. Try to get all this. We get all this stuff packed away first, and then we'll be okay. I won't melt. What you probably want to do is... We do have an electrical cord run right out here in the rain, so we haven't sorted out. That's a good thing. Looks like Will Longsworth oh. almost got attacked. <laughs> Looked like they were holding him up. Did you see yeah. that? <laughs> they were holding him up. Yeah. <laughs> number 12 and number 18 on the tackle there for the Red Raiders. Come on, suck that clock. Let's get it going. Yep, and down under a minute. 47 London, 28 Washington Courthouse. Under, under a minute to go in your contest here. I think it's safe to say we got a win. Like number 16. Oh, yeah. Nice tackle there by Woo! number 17, 17 for the Red Raiders. So who is? Who is? Who so, is? So it's so. <laughs> 22, 21 seconds. Keep that clock running. 15. It's like the I think it's safe to say. 12, 11. Last play of the ball game here if they get it off. Eight, seven, six, five. Fumble. Fumble. Courthouse is on it, and that's going to be the contest. At the end of the game, 47 to 28. London comes out victorious. Now, if the rain let up long enough to let us get out here, folks, I hope you enjoyed this game because we did.
We did? Yeah. So. <laughs> and there they go making the snake. Yep, I know it looks pretty on TV, but it rained all night here except for just a few minutes. So, big victory for the Red Raiders. That puts them 2 and 0 in the league and from what I just heard, Washington, Miami Trace was down by a point to Greenfield in the fourth quarter, so London could be in first all by themselves in the SCOL after tonight. So, we'll see. So, so this is Keith Smith and this is Gary McNeil. Carl King on the camera. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Adios. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.